The best way to map out the rotation curve for the galaxy's disk is to measure the orbital velocities and distances of gas clouds and star-forming regions across the galaxy. These are the H1, H2, and molecular clouds we covered in our segment on Star Birth Nebula. These are the best objects to analyze for three reasons. One, they trace out the spiral arms. Two, we can see them clearly at great distances using radio astronomy. And three, there is a good way to calculate their distance for the inner part of the galaxy. So, for clouds closer to the center than we are, we can scan the sky bit by bit and create a map of the rotation velocity and distance for the inner galaxy. This map can then be used to find distances to all the clouds and the stars they contain as long as they are closer to the center of the galaxy than we are. For clouds further out, there are no tangent points. For these, we have to use weaker methods for determining distance and rotational velocity. We then do a best fit line for the collected data. Here's a graphic superimposed on our galactic curve that indicates the accuracy of methods used to provide the included data points. The vertical lines through each point represent the range of possible velocities for any given distance. Notice that these lines are quite long. Rotation curves give us a measure of a system's mass. And, at the outer edge of the disk, the star mass density drops off dramatically. That's why, in the 1970s, everyone expected to see a rotation curve that looked like this. Where the velocities were expected to fall off, they remained relatively constant. If our current theory of gravity holds up for galactic distances, then this curve tells us that our model of the Milky Way is missing something. In order for objects far from the center of the galaxy to be moving faster than predicted, there must be significant additional mass far from the galactic center exerting gravitational pulls on those stars. Not knowing what it is, we call it dark matter, and it extends way into the galaxy's halo.